Nicholas Modem affair and, mm. and, and Bradley Mann, or now Chelsea Mann. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm skeptical of your increase in the intelligence, that the securitocracy of, of this lot. The, you right. talk about openness and democracy, and you're talking about increasing it in intelligence capability. Yeah. Julian Puppet said he, he was um, um, conned by you know, the, the defence community, and it seems that you're, you're not the same, you're being conned as well. No, Julian Huppert must account for the way he's voted in the past. If he thinks he's easily fooled, then perhaps no, being a member of Parliament is not the best occupation for this. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why, why yeah, but hang on spoons? a minute. Why more money for spoons? More money for spoons. 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 Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, more money for spoons. Well, this country is in a very dangerous situation, not only with external threats uh, from, you know, regimes and terror. No, no, listen. It's not a politics of fear. It's understanding this country uh, is part of a, a dangerous world with big new terrorist threats, right? And, and our security services and intelligence services do a brilliant job in I protecting us and thwarting plots. I think we need many fewer Edward Snowden. Yeah. And I think yeah. some of those yeah. people yeah. who expose, lives, expose yeah. people yeah. without yeah. thinking through the consequences may be yeah. guilty of triggering a chain of events that lead to good people and brave people losing their lives yeah. at the hands of terrorism. Yeah. And I would, yeah. I would think, listen, any, Nick Clay came into power thinking, you know, you could abolish X, Y, and Z and play free and easy. And I think, you know, the, yeah. the coalition yeah. itself, under Lib Dem pressure, relaxed those um, control rules, didn't they? And they've had to kind of unrelax them a bit because they're so worried about the number of people in this country, mercifully, you know, a tiny fraction of the population, but still thousands of people who would do their own country damage and do it down, who have to be watched yeah, every day. And I believe they do have to be watched. Then we don't bomb our country. Obviously, the underground well, that's right. bombings and the bus in Tannistock Square and all these other things pass you by completely. Yeah. I think blame the Muslims. It's not about, it's not about blaming the Muslims, sir. It's about acknowledging, and I think most Muslims would acknowledge this, that there is a small minority in their midst uh, who are not at ease with the values of British society. And I think we do the vast majority of law-abiding Muslims uh, no service, and we don't help them fulfil their own potential in British society by turning a blind eye to the extremists that, are, that in some communities are not in control. Right. Uh,